Hello, I'm Norman with Brockles Gardens, and today we're going to be talking about Florida native blueberries. We're going to be talking about two native species, even though there is about eight Florida native species. I know it may come to a surprise to you, but Florida does have blueberries that grow naturally here in Florida. Uh, this particular one is going to be Vaccinium mercenitis. Now the blueberries are attested to be one of the sweetest out of all the blueberries. However, it can be kind of small. This shiny uh, blueberry uh, is almost in full bloom. Uh, the flowers are going to be bell-shaped, whitish pink. The leaves vary in colors from like uh, just a deep evergreen to lightish pink to some yellows. So it's a pretty colorful bush. They get about one to two feet tall, unless they're on a large mound. It makes them look six feet tall. Another uh, interesting fact is they love the Florida dirt here. They love that sandy, acidic soils. Florida native blueberry, this shiny blueberry, uh, likes the sandy soils here in Florida likes a uh, well-draining sandy habitat. It definitely stands some water. It can, uh, I've, I've seen these do pretty well in standing water, actually. They do have a rhizomous habitat, so you're gonna see runners and shoots coming up from the ground. Uh, salt tolerance is very low if you're on the uh, east coast. Probably not gonna do too well with these. If you go further inland, like where we are right now, you're gonna have much more success. It's got a really nice shiny, um, shiny foliage with uh, different colors in it. Now I probably wouldn't box it. You're gonna lose a lot of your flowers and a lot of your berries. But nonetheless, they still grow pretty dense in most cases. Uh, full sun, they're gonna get more denser. Uh, this one's probably getting about partial sun, so you're kind of seeing a little bit of legginess going on. It's gonna be fairly easy for a uh, landscape by itself. All right, so here we have the, the second blueberry that we're gonna be talking about, which is the Vaccinium dararii. So this particular blueberry, uh, the same conditions, uh, very similar to the, the, uh, the previous one we just talked about. This one is gonna get slightly taller, so like around the four foot range. Uh, this one's kind of leggy. Uh, we found it covered in grapevine. Believe it or not, grapevine, you know, grows wild here in Florida as well, and it's a Florida native. This one's gonna have white flowers, whitish pink flowers that are gonna hang up so you can see some. And like the other, it's still gonna be really good for your, your native habitat, uh, especially here in Florida, really good for your nectar, your pollinators. Uh, any Florida natives, they're gonna be pretty simple and pretty easy uh, since they live here naturally. Uh, you can basically just mimic uh, its habitat, which is easily done here in Florida, in a Florida yard. Another interesting fact about the uh, Vaccinium dararii is that uh, they will use this to hybridize some farther north varieties to grow down here with uh, slightly bigger, you know, juicier blueberries, essentially. But this is what they'll sometimes use to start a uh, hybrid, is uh, one of these particular varieties. Now, a side note, this is the shiny Leonia or fetter bush, some may call it. Both of these, like the blueberries we were just talking about and the shiny leonia are also gonna be in the Heath family. And as you can see, the flowers look very similar. But these are a much deeper pink. The, the leaves are a, just a steady green, just about year round. You're not really gonna get a lot of that color. Shiny Leonia, even though they're in the same family, is that they're going to be toxic, uh, poisonous to eat. I would not eat the berries off of this one. Uh, we do have a couple varieties of Florida native blueberries and some other blueberries as well, so you can come by and uh, check them out for yourself. And I would say that would uh, conclude our episode for today. Uh, my name is Norman. Have a nice day.